Hi, boys and girls. It's Monday. Miss Pickowitz here with your science lesson. I couldn't find any exciting videos to watch to show you rough and smooth, so I thought I would just show you myself. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you a few things and to help you realize to determine the difference between rough and smooth. So last week when we started talking about ways to sort objects, we learned the word observe. Observe means that you can use lots of different things to observe. You can use your eyes, you can use your ears, you can use your nose to smell, you can use your mouth to taste, you can use your hands to touch. Yes, good job. We can use our senses to help us observe. That's something a scientist does. A scientist is they observe things around them. So we're going to be scientists and we're going to observe texture of things. Texture, as Abby from Sesame Street helped us learn on Friday, is how things feel. So we're going to be using feel. We can also use our sight to help us see some of this because you're not going to be able to feel these things through the video. <clears throat> I can feel them and then I can describe it to you. And you can also use your eyes to see what it looks like when I'm describing it to you. And then you can also use your ears to listen to me. Normally ears aren't something you would use for texture, but this is a little bit of a different situation. So we're talking about smooth and rough. So I have a book and the cover of the book is smooth. I can run my fingers right over it. There's no bumps. It's not itchy or scratchy. It is smooth. If you have a book at home, go get it and run your hand over the cover of the book and you'll see that it feels smooth. So I also have this little picture. It's Belle. She's my favorite princess. Do you know why she's my favorite? Because she loves books. So my picture is smooth. When I run my hands over it, it's smooth. There's no bumps. It's not scratchy. It's smooth. Now I went into my son's room to help me find a few things for rough. So this is one of his um, Lego brickheads. And there's parts of her that are smooth and parts of her that are rough. So if you look at the top of her head, it's smooth. Run my finger right over it. It's so smooth. But if you look at her base that she's standing on, look, I'll take the base off. She didn't want to stand on it right now anyway. This is rough. It's not smooth. When I'm running my fingers over this part right here, oh, oh, oh I can't just run it over. This part I can see where there's the bumps here that makes it rough and it's just like with her face her eyes stick out it makes it rough her head is smooth but the rest of her is not smooth it has she has rough parts I also found, since we're reading a book about dinosaurs this week for our writing unit, I also found some dinosaurs. My son, yes, he's 18, but he still loves dinosaurs, and he still has them up in his room. So this guy, yeah, I think it's the T-Rex. So if you look at him, look at that. Oh, that is rough. I run my finger over and I feel all those little bumps. And he's got all these little spikes going up his back and on his tail. That is rough. His skin is rough. You can also call it scaly. But this is rough. 
So then I also found the Stegosaurus or Ankylosaurus. He wouldn't know which one it was if he was here, but if you look at his spikes, well, they're not as little and spiky as the T-Rexes. They're still got ridges. There's ridges on them. So running your fingers over them is still not smooth. And look at his skin. That's not smooth either because it's all scaly and bumpy. So he would be rough as well. So I hope that helps you to understand the difference between rough and smooth. So you're going to get this paper right here. It says rough and smooth at the top. And you're going to color everything that is rough red. Alright, so you're going to color everything on this paper that's rough red. And rough starts with an R. You're going to color everything on this paper that's smooth, has a smooth surface, purple. And smooth starts with an S. If you forget which word these are, just ask your adult. And then I'm going to tell you the names of the pictures so that in case you're not sure. So I have, we have a volleyball or basketball I'm not sure which one it is but the lines in it would tell you that it is not a smooth surface all the way around there's going to be ridges in it because of the lines you have a jar a ear of corn a tooth we're going to say that this is a chocolate chip cookie A mug or a cup, comb, bar of soap, a spoon, egg, sand, alligator, and an apple. And you're going to color the ones that are rough red, the rough surface, and the ones that have the smooth surface purple. And that is your science for today. Have a great day, boys and girls.